Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In our previous video, we talked about different methods to take screenshots on your Windows PC or laptop. Since that video wasn't helpful for Mac users, we're going to dedicate this episode entirely to our videos that use Mac OS. In this video, we're gonna show you how to take a screenshot on your MacBook or iMac. Before we dive into today's video, make sure that you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you get notified of every video that we publish on our channel. Let's get started to see how you can take screenshots on your Mac. Like our previous episode, we're going to share some different methods to capture your screen on your Mac OS so that you can easily pick the right one as per the situation. The first method is by using keyboard commands. If you want to use keyboard commands, there are a number of different commands that you can use to take a screenshot on your Mac according to different situations. The first situation is when you capture the entire screen. If you want to capture the entire screen and you don't want to edit it at all, just simply press Command, Shift and 3 keys at the same time. Wait for a flash to appear on your screen and you'll also hear like a screenshot sound and then just release the keys. The screenshot will automatically be saved to your Mac's desktop. You will see a small picture appear in the corner before it is saved to the desktop. If you click on this image, it will maximize to an edit screen of the screenshot where you're able to draw, make notes, and even sign areas of the screenshot using the options at the top of the window. This is a fantastic feature if you want to highlight and make changes to that screenshot. If you want to copy the screenshot to your clipboard so that you can paste it into a document let's say, all that you need to do is press shift, command, three and control at the same time. You'll hear the capture sound and then head to where you want to paste it and then just press command and V. If you want to capture only part of your screen, you will have to use the command, command, shift and four keys in combination. This will swap your mouse to a pointer with crosshairs, which you can use to select part of the screen that you want to save. Once you've selected the specific part of the screen that you want to save, the screenshot will be saved directly on your desktop. Like the previous method, you can use a different combination set of keys to copy the screenshot to your keyboard. All that you need to do is just simply press Command, Shift, 4 and Control simultaneously and the screenshot will be copied to your clipboard. Then just press Command and V to paste that portion of the screen. If you are in the middle of a browsing session on Safari, let's say, and you only want to capture a specific tab, there is a dedicated keyboard shortcut for that as well. All that you need to do at the same time, press Command, Shift and 4 on your keyboard and wait for the pointer to turn into crosshairs. Now, press the space bar and the icon will change to a camera icon. Now, hover this icon over the window that you want to capture and then just press click. This will save the captured window on your desktop. You can also make annotations to this just like in the previous methods. Apart from these key combinations, Mac OS also comes with a built-in screenshot mode that will allow you to screenshot on your Mac in different scenarios. This app has three different modes to capture your screen, i.e. full screen, specific window, and specific portion. You can choose between any of these modes as per your requirements and then capture the screen without any hassle. Here's how to launch and use the screenshot app in Mac OS. Press and hold the Command, Shift and 5 keys together and wait for the screenshot toolbar to appear near the bottom of the screen. You can also launch the screenshot app through the Spotlight search by first pressing Command and Space and then search for Screenshot and then press Enter and you'll see the same pop-up appear. The first three options of this toolbar are different screenshot modes that you can perform. Select one of the three different modes and you can take the screenshot accordingly. You can also 
also take time screenshots. If you open up the screenshot app by using the keyboard commands that I've spoken about, you can then go to options and then select the five or 10 second timer within the dropdown. And you can then take the screenshot once the timer finishes. The last option we would like to introduce you to with taking a screenshot is actually using preview. Even though many people don't know about it, Preview is yet another macOS feature that you can use to take a screenshot on your Mac. With Preview, you can actually save your screenshots in different file formats like PDF. Launch the Preview app through the Spotlight search by pressing the Command and Space keys and then typing in Preview and pressing Enter. Go to the File tab at the top and head to the Take a Screenshot option. Now to capture your screen, opt for the desired option from the menu that you see. Here you'll have three options from selection, from window, and from entire screen. Select one of these three options and then once the screenshot has been taken, you will see it appear on your screen. Now go to the top and click the file tab and go down to export. You will be able to save the screenshot in several different formats like PNG and PDF. Just go to the format drop down menu and select the desired format and then click save. That's about it. That's how you can capture screenshots on macOS using the built in preview tool. Now that you know how to take screenshots on your Mac, let's check out where you can find them. By default, the screenshots are saved to your desktop in the PNG format with typically the name screenshot with the date and time .png. However, if you're running Mac OS Mojave or later, you can actually change the destination of the screenshots. But that is all for this video on how to take screenshots on your Mac. We really hope that this video has helped you understand the different ways to capture screenshots on your Mac OS. If you found this video helpful, then please make sure that you give us a like and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos from us, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support our channel. It really does help. Anyway, until the next video, look after yourselves. Bye.